What is up guys, welcome to today's play review. Today we're going to be looking at Kim Dong Ki. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not too sure. It is a bronze inform. We haven't looked at a bronze inform in a long time. So I thought, why not? This guy looks okay. And by looking at his in-game stats, he looks terrible. But from his in-game stats, I saw he is pretty strong. And I really like strikers, or to review strikers that are really strong. So his aggression isn't that high, but his strength is kind of high for a, for a bronze striker. So if you guys are looking for a cheap and reliable place to get your coin, check out battlelay.com. Their link will be in the description. Use the code ETON to get 5% off. Now, Kim is i don't know he, he is a very confusing player and i'll tell you why in just a second to begin with let's start with his uh positives because there is a little bit of positives and quite a bit of negatives and i think you would have noticed that from just by looking at his card stats now he is a bronze player so i am gonna sort of take it easy on him he has scored me some decent goals in um seven games so i'm not gonna take away that from him but he is very strong, so you will see him easily barge off defenders. But if he does come up against a very strong defender, he ain't going to be easily barging him off because his aggression is really, really low. Now, his pace, I felt he was quite faster than what his in-game stats were showing. I felt he should be around 65 pace, 68, somewhere around there. Just not as slow as it's shown in his in-game stats or his card stats. So, I didn't have that much of a problem with his pace, but he was still kind of slow. So, I'm not going to take away that from him. Um, he is not reliable in the penalty area at all so you're gonna see a lot of like clips or well, I tried to put a lot of clips but he did miss a shit ton of um, shots or just sit is in the penalty area where it should have been a hundred percent a goal hits the post hits it wide or when you're trying to finesse it in the penalty area he is just so bad but outside the penalty area his finesse shots were kind of surprising and that's what makes me confused about him even his shooting at the end of this video you're going to see a positive for his shooting and then a negative for his shooting because i'm not too sure what, where to put this uh, uh, like under which category because sometimes he has some really good shots and sometimes his shots are terrible so i don't know where to put that and his dribbling don't even get me started on that you will not be able to dribble past anyone with this guy his sh his dribbling is just so bad Bad. And one thing's for sure is his acceleration is kind of fast when you're running with him, which is kind of surprising. I don't know why um, he has really high acceleration when I'm running with him. Uh, as soon as you give him the ball and then you hit that sprint speed button, he's going to be running quite fast and then he starts to slow down. Now, his, uh, he's got perfect work as well with high attacking and low defending, so he's going to be in the right position at the right time some of the time not a lot because his attack positioning is really low as well he has very good heading and height you'll see a couple of headers from him where the defenders could not save it and that is just awesome because even the goalkeeper will struggle because this guy is really tall and he has really good heading so you'll see a couple of nice um, funny clips from him but that's all there is to it for his positives now I did talk about some of the negatives, but like I said, his shooting is very bad sometimes. Like when you try and power the shot, it is so crap. I'm not too sure, but this is one of the most confusing players that I have reviewed. Now, by looking at this video, you're going to think he is an absolute beast. Trust me, he is not. So when you try him out, I tried to highlight most of the goals he has scored, but when you actually do try him out, you're going to see that he isn't that great of a finisher. I think it's because the team around him just set him up really easily, and the team I made around him is so awesome, it makes him look good as well. So if you guys enjoyed this review, I'd really appreciate it. Like, he goes for around 18k, so he isn't very expensive. So if you want to mess around in Ultimate Team, might as well try him out, I guess. But there is a lot of better, you know, K-League strikers that are strong, and and have good pace and better shooting so I'm not too sure why you would ever try this guy out right here so hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did I'd really appreciate a like let me know in the comment section below who you want me to review next and I hope you have a very nice day